what's up guys, Supreme League of Empire here coming at you with another cool video. Video I'm making especially for fellow YouTuber Dr. McBrick, so hello. Um, this is going to be a video just mainly just, well actually completely, just for a bridge solution for Dr. McBrick. So anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so, for this bridge, I've noticed that in Dr. McBrick's Lego City, there is a, there's these tracks that come across to the edge of a table where there is a walkway to get through to more of a city. And then, this comes through the edge of, can't remember, I think where he's going to put his Ninjago City area, and then... Over here, there's another part on the other side of the walkway where, where there's the pirate part of the amusement park by the Pirates of Barracuda Bay set, and these tracks come down this way. But anyways, um, here is the makeshift bridge that I've made. It's just some regular Lego train tracks on some 8x8 eight eight flat plates. So we want to connect this. We can connect it. But it's not going to be easy because you don't want to have to connect these and unconnect these every time you want to use the walk, but you want to make it easy. So what can we do to make this an easier solution? Well, what we can do, one, well, one of the options is what we can do is if we back these tracks up just a little bit so there's enough room that... If I made this bridge right, there would be just a little bit of room for this bridge to overhang so it could be set down just on the edge of this edge of these plates here. And what could be done is we take these tracks, we put a one by eight flat piece underneath. I'm going to set that in here. I'm gonna take some jumper plates that I have here. I'm going to put those together. I'm going to take two here, put another one on the top. Then I'm going to take a double cheese wedge piece and another jumper plate, put them together like this. Put them on the top of this. And we have something that looks like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put that right on here, like this, right next to the train track that I have put down right there. So, I'll zoom in in a minute once I've gotten further in depth on that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side except the cheese wedge, double cheese wedge plates can be facing the opposite direction. So when we put this down here, it forms an area that meets like a track. So I'll put this plate back on here, and this tracks. So if we have something like that, right, this, put it down over here also. Now I'm going to put another 1x8 flat plate on the other side. Take some of these, take a double cheese wedge, two jumper plates here. I'm going to put two more on there, right like this. Again, it's going to look like that. So, anyways, I'm going to put this down right here by this track with the wedge facing up 
the wedges are going to be facing in toward the track here. So, got an extra one of these. Okay, so, another cheese wedge plate. Double cheese wedge, sorry. Don't want to confuse anybody. Going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to try and show you what it looks like. Try the best view I've given so far. Again, I'm going to put that right over here. Put this track on here. And it lines up really clean. And all you got to do is, well, let me pause this and I'll come right back. I will run a train across this and we will see if it is smooth. But first, actually, I need to show you I made this smooth. What I did was I added in some flat 1x2s. I added in a whole line of them here and over here. Then I just put a couple bricks on the side so it's easier for me to put the track on here like this. The track sits flat on top because the way I made the track, the studs go out here from these plates and there's a gap here which the 1x2 flats with no studs will fit into very nicely. So set that up just like that and we will run the train across it. Very smoothly. Run it backwards. Almost no bumps that the train goes over visually. It's very smooth. I'll get a close up of that here and I'll show you. Okay, here we go. There we go, and run that back slow. Almost like it doesn't go over any bumps. So I'll show you the other side. And again, if you want to lift up this bridge, all you have to do is just lift it up. It sits down nice here. So here is actually what I built a few minutes ago with the jumper plates. Took two jumper plates, another one on top, and then I put a double cheese wedge with another jump pl jumper plate on top of that. It runs along very evenly with the track. And as I put the bridge back on, lining it with both sides, it goes across there pretty evenly. So when the train can go across, almost no bumps, and it runs very smoothly. So, I'll do that again. Of course, this isn't really how you have to build your bridge. I mean, I shouldn't be the one to tell you how to be doing things, but this was just an idea I came up with that I thought was very cool, and you happened to make a video where you needed a bridge right about the time I made this up, so I thought, well, this is a perfect time to display this and let someone know about it and be helpful. So, anyways, well, see you next time.